Hey, what's up guys? This is Flare Gun, and I have a really cool transition tutorial for you guys today. Um, you might have seen this before. What happens is when you want to transition a clip, um, and your second clip, whatever it is, has a sniper scope in it, like uh, the round scope, um, the, the circle comes in on the previous clip, and then it, like, as soon as it's about to come in fully, that's when the sniper scope comes in. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you what, what I mean frame by frame real quick. So you see this is my first clip right here. It's Halo. Uh, I just died after my first clip. So then what's going to happen after I scroll frame by frame here is that the circle comes in like this. You see it coming in. And then boom, it switches to my next clip, which is the sniper scope of a Barrett. And I, I shoot a guy. And I hate Mark Grimm in Modern Warfare 2, which is pretty typical. Um, let me shorten this real quick. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the effect I have. So what you want to do first to set this up is to get your clips back to back. And what you want to do is you want to cut the second clip to where it's the sniper scope, the first frame. The first frame is you zooming in with the sniper scope. Alright, so on your first clip you want to go to video effects over here. Go to cookie cutter, go to circle center, and drag it on your first clip. Now what you want to do here, um, you want to go to this timeline where this gray little bullet thing is it's called a keyframe what you want to do is you want to click and drag it all the way to the end then what you want to do is you want to go down and click this button right here which is add another keyframe so you click that and what you want to do is click like click it on the timeline so you know you're editing this specific one go to the size and make it one so it's like gone and then what you want to do is from like one second from the end of the clip that's about three seconds in my case what you want to do is add another keyframe and make the same thing one. So what we have here is we have one in the beginning, the size is one, one in the near the end, which is one, and then the one at the end, which is the default of what we had. So that's basically it, guys. Um, it's really simple. So now what we have here is we have it, the sniper scope, well, the circle comes in. And then it closes right on the next clip, Sniper Scope. So thanks, guys, for watching. This was a really neat tutorial. Um, see you later. Like it, please. And I will love you. Lol.